We have had immense pride in our representative athletes in the Olympics and other high-level competitions. One of these athletes is Australian swimmer and breaststroke specialist Lizel Jones. Her story and amount of adversity makes her an intriguing athlete to investigate and follow her autobiography, Body Length, written in 2015, addresses her life story and the sport delivery systems that brought her to success in the pool. A delivery system... A sport delivery system can encompass a range of agencies and products that contribute to the idea of sport for all. An effective structure sport is presented in concerning to participants and spectators. This is important to recognise sport delivery systems because it allows the sporting sphere to grow whether that is in the entertainment it generates to the development of the athlete's abilities. In this podcast today, we will analyse and discuss the different sport delivery systems in relation to Lisa Jones' career from the format of the competition to how she's been promoted and the way that it has affected her. Lisa Jones became an Olympic swimmer at just a young age of 15, representing Australia in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. With starting her swimming passion at just the age of two, Lisa didn't grasp the act of swimming straight away, having terrifying memories of her first swimming lessons, but she, she slowly and surely gained confidence and quickly fell in love with the sport. Her first ever local swimming club, the Pengary Swimming Club, and a coach, Colin Clifford's, was the push Lisa needed to reach extraordinary levels at such a young age. This would be the groundwork for Lisa's development within swimming and a crucial step in her sporting development. This being a, a sporting development system, this allowed and strongly progressed Jones's sporting development both physically and mentally, with Lisa saying in her autobiography, this is where I began my love affair with swimming. It is important to recognise the sporting organisations Lisa was affiliated with before entering the Sydney Olympic Games, but also the format of which swimming comp- competed in, another form of sporting de- um, a sport delivery system, and to realise that swimming competition formats is important towards the individual's performance. We will start off with mentioning the organisa- organisations Lisa competed with. Lisa, after her time with the Burpengary Swimming Club, she moved into the District Club, Redcliffe Swimming Club. This is where she had. This club had more members than even future Olympic swimmers like Tareen White, as well as more pools and intense coaching led by Ken Wood. This is where she was able to compete at a higher level and train more intensely. She is quoted by saying, but if I stay, I will probably get bored and quit. At the young age, Lisa understood that if she wasn't in the right environment and system, she couldn't succeed. And applying the right sport delivery system to her situation is crucial to her development. She progressed quickly and started to compete in the championship races, whether they were interstate, like the Queensland State Championships, to national stages with the Australian Age Swimming Championships. These events, much like the, com- uh, the, com- much like the same com- competition formatting as the Olympics, had importance to Lisa's development. Not being able to compete in one of these events wouldn't allow Lizelle's sport development to increase. In accordance to the Federation Internationale de Nation, or FINA, swimming rules, all Olympics and World Series affiliated FINA competitions will be run with the, the elimination heats. The elimination heats would consist of swimmers who qualify for be, beating a certain time. From there, the eight athletes who had the best times would swim in one heat. And according to the amount of swimmers from every heat, the top eight advance to the semifinals, then finals. This particular competition formatting would create a lot of anxiety for the participants and also an intense environment. This would, this would eliminate the extensive amount of participants within the first races. But the benefit of this format within swimming competitions is that it allows a large number of races to compete at a higher level, usually produces the strongest competitor and has a high entertainment value by creating the tense environment. And for Lizelle, she would thrive under these opportunities. Lizelle will qualify for the 2000 Sydney Olympics Games with just at the young age of 15. There, we have three rounds in her 100 meter breaststroke races, the heat, semi-final and final, which then placed second in all three, finishing with a silver medal in her efforts. This was an amazing milestone for Lizelle and a sign for future things to come. Lisa was able to benefit from the large media support of her efforts as well in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. With her being a great story for the Australian sport, a 15-year-old superstar taking home the silver was something Lisa enjoyed. 
in the coming 12 years, Lisa would dominate the swimming comp competition, finishing her career off with 14 individual world records, 9 Olympic gold medals, 3 gold. Ah! In the coming years, in the coming 12 years, Lisa would dominate the swimming competition, finishing her career off with 14 individual world records, 9 Olympic medals, 3 gold, 5 silver, 1 bronze, 7 world championship titles, 10 Commonwealth Games medals, and 23 national titles. With some of the standout achievements from her 3 gold medals and 1 Olympic Games to being inducted into the Sporting Hall of Fame. The author of her, of her own autobiography, Lizzo Jones, has been able to grasp the concept of sport delivery systems within swimming and understanding the positive and growing effect it has on modern sport and in her own story. Through the appreciation of her grassroots organization, Bopengari, to understanding her development must progress from moving the club is a testament to her understanding. Also recognizing the advantages of high-level sporting competitions at a young age allows Lizelle's confidence to grow and work on her previous experiences. Working with Ken Wood and his system, it allowed Lizelle to thrive under it. With herself acknowledging training, her, training under Ken Wood was a massive wake-up call. Her understanding that the publicity was a big part of the elite-level sport, she recognized the stage that she was on and did her best to present herself. Researching and analyzing the professional career of Lisa Jones and her autobiography has helped me understand the different sport delivery systems that is needed to reach an elite level of sport and to develop and to develop natural talent. For the world of swimming, the sport delivery systems that are used to have been the most effective way to get the greatest outcome. To the heat elimination format, to local swimming clubs and the government aspect with funding and advertising have been effective in the early two thousands when Lisa was performing. Yet areas to be to improve can be pointed out, with greater emphasis on multiple events rather than just the Olympics, with self-representation in the World Championships and other events. With all that in mind, this podcast has explored the sport delivery systems in relevance to Lisa Jones and her professional career, how they have shaped her path and the benefits the sport delivery systems have had. From the competition formats to a sport delivery matrix, it has been clear to the multitude of sport delivery systems accumulated to end to an end result, which is Lisa Jones's outstanding career. This has helped me understand that the natural talent must be developed, and with the right environment, can be progressed to a career into elite status. Thank you for listening to my podcast.